Hi everyone, Casey from Home Quarters and today's Blockbuster episode, we are featuring Park Suite, District 10, Holland Grove Road, right inside of Mount Sinai, Lander and Clay. And just opposite, we have the top 10 primary school, Hendry Park Primary School. We have a park right inside the development as well called Hendry Park. Stay tuned to the very end where we check out a two-story dual-key unit. So without further ado, let's check it out. Before you head into the show gallery proper, do hit the like, subscribe, and follow button on all our social media platform at Home Quarters SG. So welcome to Park Suite. Where exactly is Park Suite? It's at the corner of Mount Sinai Drive and also Holland Grove Road. Just opposite, we have the top 10 primary school in Singapore, Henry Park Primary School. That's definitely within 1km. Between 1 to 2 km away, we have Farfield Mendedes Primary School and also Mendedes Girls School. Just to name a few of the famous primary school in the region, we have a slew of other secondary school and even tertiary education school in here, including School of Science and Technology and our famous National University of Singapore. To add on, we also have ACS International School if you are an international buyer buying into Park Suite. For amenities, why just a short walk away, we have cold storage at Jalitza Shopping Centre and also Gim Mall Market and Hawker Centre. If you drive further down, we have Holland Village which is undergoing a huge transformation with one Holland Village that you can see on our previous episode. Coming over on this side, a short drive away as well, we have the famous shopping belt in Singapore, Orchard Road. If you're into nature and love hiking, don't miss out on Singapore Botanical garden and entertainment in the evening you can head down to Dempsey Hill. At Park Street, they do provide two years free shuttle service between Bona Vista and Holland Village. Alternatively, if you do not want to use that shuttle service coming back home, you are able to come back home through bus or MRT at this two station as well. If you do work around the Bona Vista Commonwealth and One North Business District, you will rejoice and stay here at Park Street because it's well connected using the Green East-West Line and also the Circle Line. Public transport traveling to all parts of Singapore will be a breeze. If you do not take public transport and drive, you are well connected through the whole of Singapore using the AYE, and PIE. To reiterate, Park Suite is at Holland Grove Road, District 10. We have 119 residential units with 18 units of retail just downstairs. It's a mixed development here at Park Suite. 110 years leasehold from 2017 and expected to TOP in a few years time in 2023. One interesting thing about this development is that it's integrated into a public park called Henry Park and just opposite we have Henry Park Primary School like we mentioned at the site area just now. Coming over on this side, we have five towers of four storey each. We have two distinct entrance and exit. Here we have one at Tower 5. Basement 1 is because we have the retail unit, we have the retail parking space and Basement 2 is reserved purely for residents at Park Suite. Over on this front, we have Tower 1, we have the separate entrance and exit that is reserved particularly for residents of the Tribex unit. We have one bedroom and two bedroom, two bedroom and three bedroom of dual key units and also the interesting four bedroom Tribex unit which we're going to show you in full later on. So the first facility here is Henry Park which is a public park that is shared around in this region for all the residents over here and this means that if you have kids you can have the kids socialize with other kids in the lander and clay. So this is one big factor and unique selling point here. Coming over on this front at Tower 5, we have a 50 meter lap pool and also a jacuzzi right on here. Coming over at the back of the development, we have a recreational pool, sun deck, barbecue pit. Coming over in here, you got true access to Moonbeam Terrace and below deck on Tower 2, we have your dining pavilion, gym, reflection pool and also party deck. Coming over on Tower 1, I do like that it is C-shaped. Most of the unit do enjoy the unblocked park view or the unblocked landed view. Over at Tower 1, we also have recreational pool and also a jacuzzi in here that is almost exclusive to the residents of the triplex unit. While being common facility, all the other neighbors 
and residents can also use other facilities that is included in Park Suite with no restriction of access. Standing at 3068 square feet, we have a triplex unit here at Park Suite. Two private parking space that is reserved just for you. And on the basement level, we have a home shelter that we converted into a utility space. Heading up to two other levels, we have level one, level two, and a basement space. On level one, we have two private terraces, one at the back, and one at the front. We have a closed kitchen, dry kitchen, dining area, and a large living area to boot. Also coming over on this side, you can see that on level one, we also have a bedroom and bathroom right beside, generally called a granny room. Over at level two, that is where the main living area is. We have three bedrooms, and serving that, we have two different bathrooms. We have the master bedroom here, of course, with the ensuite up the side. So if you do want the convenience of condominium living, but space of landed property, I think triplex unit here at Park Suite is something that you can consider. Because it's a mixed-use development, FIES organization is actually managing the mall right downstairs. I do like that it is developer managed, meaning that a lot of strong players will come in because of the reputation of Far East organization. They have already secured anchor tenants such as supermarket, clinic, language center, and learning center, and every day they are securing more. What this means to you is that convenience is really just right at your doorstep. Developed by Far East Organization, which is one of the oldest and more reputable developers here in Singapore, the team for Park Suite is Soho Living by the Park. Welcome to the two bed, one bath with study area, 786 square feet. Before you step into the house, you have a parcel drop area where you are able to provide a one-time password for the poster services. As you come in, we have compressed marble on the flooring, a lot of storage spaces, and I want to draw you into one of the features here is that we have a rose gold digital lock. This is not common and elevating the premium feature and everything here at Park Suite. As you head into the open concept kitchen, because of this space, you are able to even put it into a closed concept kitchen by erecting some glass panel on this side and this front. Even if you want to stay open concept, I do love that you have sufficient space to be in your dining and an additional countertop here. Because of the big space, you are able to put in a four-seater, six-seater, or even a round table on this side. Coming over and focusing back on the kitchen area itself, top of the range of appliances by Miller, both from the hood hop and also oven. Fridge is from Smack. And one important and interesting fact here is that we are supplied with electric bloom hinges, and you are able, at a touch, of your hand able to lift out this entire wardrobe door which is one of the most interesting feature at Park Suite Kitchen. Enough of this kitchen and dining area, let's head over to the living area. I do love that it's a much larger space as compared to general two-bed plus one bath layout in newer development and because of the space that it has, you are able to do up a lot of your own creativity in terms of interior design. For example, the developer put in a sofa here facing the wall but if you would like to, you can actually have the sofa soap out at this area and have your TV console at this side. At the living area, you do enjoy the high ceiling of about 3.35 meter. Definitely, you will not feel comfortable with staying and chilling out in this living space. And then just beside it, we have the beautiful balcony space. I do like that it can be an extension of your living room space, even though you have a very large dining and living room already. One idea is to lever it up, close it up with a zip track. And so this entire space can be an extension and you can actually put in aircon that can permeate the entire balcony space as well. Aluminum frame roof has been done up for you and comes with the unit in terms of privacy or even you are here on a hot day, you can cover this up. I myself do like an outdoor space and a balcony. If you do enjoy al fresco dining like myself, you can move the entire dining room over on this front. Even if alternatively, I can imagine myself sitting here sipping some tea and reading a good book. That's it for the balcony. Let's check out the study area. Like I mentioned just now, you can actually put in your dining space at this study area over here. But if you want to make it into a pure study, work from home space, this cabinet is already provided for you with the dropout top here. I do like that this study space still have access to an open window and have your own AC. Purely if you want to work from home, really, you can do it in here. 
Beside, we have the common bedroom, good enough space for a queen size bed. Wardrobe is done up for you, beautiful timber flooring, AC is all done up for you. This can be converted into a guest room or even a fully functional work from home space if you do find that this is a little bit small for you. If you convert this entire common bedroom space into your study area, outside space can be converted into kind of like a walk-in wardrobe concept. One interesting thing is that you come in here, we are at the Jack and Jill bathroom that is shared between the common and the master bedroom. No detail has been spared in here. Premium and luxury is always inside this small detail. We have premium marble flooring, total washer, automatic WC. We got a rain shower from Exor. You got a good size vanity countertop to put in all your beauty product, either early in the morning before you head out or late at night when you come back and settle in before you head into bed. All these are premium fitting by the most famous brand. Coming into the master bedroom space, I do love that they still maintain the 3.35 meter of ceiling height, meaning that this will be a very grand place to stay in. Space-wise, it's superb considering that new development and getting smaller and smaller and smaller. But Park Suite is different. We have a king size bed, still able to enable you to put in a bedside table with full length window that have the top panel able to be opened up fully to enable more lights and breeze to come in. Timber flooring is a mask that is already given and provided for you. We have the wardrobe AC all done up by the developer. This is a really great space for you to really live for a long time. Who do you think is suitable for this space? Of course, a bachelor or bachelorette, definitely a good space in here. Alternatively, young couple with the occasional parents or guests that can occupy the common bedroom space. Alternatively, they can actually convert the common bedroom into an entire study area. And with the big dining and living room space, this space will be great for years and years to come. If you are keen on Park Street or any other new launches here in Singapore, do give us a call at 8809-289. My name is Casey from Home Quarters. One one seven three two bedroom Dioki. Dioki are getting less and less popular, and so getting more and more rare. As you head in here, the first thing here you'll see is a parcel drop, similar to the two bedroom plus study that we've just introduced to you. As you step in here, we got compressed marble. Here's a separate staircase that head up to the studio. We'll check out later on. We we'll check out the ground floor level first. This is the common lobby area where both units are able to do their laundry over here with the washer and dryer, and of course the wash basin at the right side. Come, let's step into the one bedroom on the ground floor first. As you step in, you will meet with an open concept kitchen, very functional. Left side, you have the fridge and right side, you have the open concept kitchen. Appliances are all from top of the range brand from Miller and do feature the steel, the one-touch bloom fittings. One thing to note here is that the bloom is not battery operated, meaning that you don't need to go and keep buying battery after battery. It is actually connected to the grid. So that is something interesting in here. So coming over on this front, I do like that you are able to still have the space nearer to the kitchen to put in a six-seater table. This table is not provided, but this is a sense of what is the space be like after putting in that six-seater. Even if you want to put a round table, it's possible as well. Coming over to the living room side, one thing to note is that looking up, there is a 4.1 meter ceiling height at the show gallery, but in the actual unit, it's actually 5 meter. I would say that it is very rare to have high ceiling such as this for a new development. This is the first time we have seen after so many new development blockbuster episode to have a 5 meter ceiling height here. Still featuring the full length window ability to open up the upper panel. I do like that because of this kind of loft concept, even after putting in your large format TV, you still have a lot of space to put in your artwork or portrait. That's it for the living area. Let's head over to the master bedroom space. We have a Jack and Jill bathroom that we're going to check out later on. We head in here to the main master bedroom. Beautiful timber decking, high ceiling still here. We got a full length window able to look out into the beautiful, beautiful Henry Public Park. Queen size bed, base side table is possible. Full height wardrobe has been done up for you. This is a really, really comfortable space. Even you have stay in here for a long time to come. Because of the high ceiling, you are able to put in artwork, TV, or portraits over on this wall. So that's it for the master bedroom. Let's check out the master Jack and Jill bathroom. We have two door access, one here and one at the guest area. So if you do want to have guests coming over, do lock this door and the guests can have access to the other door. No expense again has been spared. You got marble flooring, scissor stone countertop, total washlet, and of course, 
a pseudo rain shower. So that's it for the one bedroom over here. Let's head up to check out the studio upstairs. We have a separate door in here with different lock and key. That is why this is called a dual key. Let's head up. On this floor, we have the studio unit. This is immaculate. We have flooring that's made out of timber flooring, king size bed, bedside table, no problem. You are able to hang your TV, multimedia over here, or your most prized art collection. I do like that there's still space for you to hang out, chill out outdoor on this good size balcony. You are able to enjoy a meal here, drink some coffee, wine down at night with some wine and cheese is possible with your loved one overlooking the beautiful Henry Park. Walking back into the unit, we're gonna check out the pantry and wardrobe space. If a couple is staying in here, definitely two big panel of wardrobe, full height from floor to ceiling, will be able to satisfy both their needs. Unless you need additional wardrobe space, which you can create on this front. Coming over on this side, you have a separate pantry area. If in the middle of the night, you're very hungry and you do not want to cook up or go out to get delivery, you're able to cook a bit of instant noodle at this front, putting up all your wine glasses, your shot glass, sink, and also upper and bottom cabinet. Beside here, we have a bathroom, all with premium fitting, with premium address here at Park Suite. We've got a total washer, automatic WC, vanity countertop from Caesar Store, and I do like that it still feature an outlet, a wall window. You are able to, after a hot steam shower, open it up to let all the hot steam go out to prevent and reduce the chances of mold and fungus in here. Now let's head up to one of the most interesting features of this loft unit, which is the upper floor loft level. Here we are the loft space, beautiful space for you to convert into a men's cave or a hobby space outside of your studio area. But in this climate of work from home, this can be converted into a mini work from home space as well. Who do you think is suitable for this unit layout of a dual key? We think that if you are in a multi-generation home, you can have your parents upstairs and you staying in here or vice versa, or you are into house hacking, buying one unit and have one of either the studio or the one bedroom rented out to support Supplement and generate passive income, this is perfect for you. That's it for today's Blockbuster episode featuring Park Suite. If you are keen on this show gallery or any other show flat in Singapore, do give us a call at 8809 to 889. My name is Casey from Home Quarters and remember, call Home Quarters and start packing. Very proper, do hit the follow, like and... If you do drive a bit further, we have Hawker... Oh my... uh, have school going... In... Uh, okay, one more time.